स्टार्ट श्री सुधीर कुमार सिंह कंटेंट्स दैट बाय वर्च्यू ऑफ द प्रोविजन्स ऑफ सेक्शन 55 फाइव ऑफ द नाइनटीन एक्ट व्हाट एवर बेनिफिट्स आर अवेलेबल द एक्विजिशन अंडर द लैंड एक्विजिशन एक्ट 1894 द सेम वुड ऑटोमेटिकली बी अवेलेबल टू ऑल सच एक्विजिशंस अंडर द नाइनटीन एक्ट He submits that since the 2013 Act reference to the provisions of 1894 Act and the acquisitions made thereunder and is a beneficial piece of legislation for farmers, then by adopting the analogy of the latest Apex Court decisions, the provisions of the 2013 Act should also be read as extending. benefits to the acquisitions made under the 1965 act in the event such an interpretation is avoided the same would result in discrimination and will violate article 14 of the constitution of india the contention therefore is that section 24 of the 2013 act and its implication are also clearly available to acquisitions made under the 1965 act under section 28 and section 32 thereof read with section 55 shri singh has then invited the attention of the court to the decision in the case of up avas exam vikas parishad versus jainul islam and another reported in air 1998 sc 1028 to urge that in that case also where the matter relating to payment or higher compensation arose the same was interpreted in favor of the tenure holders so as to include the subsequent amendments that were brought about in the 1894 act to pay higher compensation he therefore submits that discrimination was clearly the issue that was resolved therein and it was held that the compensation payable for acquisitions under the 1894 act would be directly applicable with all its subsequent amendments in relation to acquisitions under the 1965 act it is in this manner that the legislation was interpreted to be a beneficial piece of legislation and was therefore extended in order to avoid discrimination such analogy should also be applied in the present context of the applicability of the 2013 act para he has then invited attention of the court to the decision of the apex court in the case of nagpur improvement trust versus nipendra kumar and others air 2002 supreme court 349 to contain that here also the apex court had ruled adopting the reasonings of jainul islam's case to hold that by virtue of section 55 of the 1965 act amendments that were brought about in 1894 act will also be treated to be incorporated for the purpose of extending benefits of higher compensation he submits that such a construction would be learning in favor of the constitutionality of the provisions of 1965 act or else as in the present case it would result in repugnancy he submits that different principles of compensation cannot be adopted for the purpose of extending such benefits which issue was also dealt with in the nagpur improvement trust case in para 54 thereof and he has 
then relied on the analogy that has been drawn for extending the benefits of the 2013 act in certain contingencies to the aid of tenure holder over